almost there now. This is all the final seams that we're doing. So what we're going to do is start to bring the lining together with the outer leather. So keep the outer leather so that you've got all of the wrong side on the outside. And then with the lining, turn it so that you've got the right side on the outside. And what you're going to be doing is putting the lining inside the outer bag. So pop him in. And what we're looking to do is we're going to put quilting clips all the way along this top edge and we're going to be sewing one centimetre seam allowance all the way around. Just put as many quilting clips along this top edge as you require because this is the bit that's kind of important. We want to make sure that there's no little tucks or anything happening as you're going round. And if any of you are finding that that inner um, facing does feel a bit too big, there's a little trick that you can do that you basically like flip it the other way round. So have the lining on the outside and your inner leather on the inside and you should just find that it will perfectly match. And then if any of you have got um, the option on your machine to make it into a cylinder arm machine, which is basically this, you sort of pull off this bottom bit, that's gonna be really good at this stage as well because it should really help you um, so that you can loop the underneath of the bag under there and then you're gonna come all the way around. So depending on where you wanna start, I tend to go on one of the side seams and off you go. And all the time you're just being really mindful that those layers are perfectly in alignment with each other on the edge. And you can always pull the leather a little bit as well as you're sort of going to make sure everything does perfectly match. And be mindful of where those lovely handles had been base stitched on. Make sure that they're perfectly sort of in alignment going down into the bag. Don't let them go at an angle at all. So I'm coming to the next handle here. So I'm making sure that it's sitting sort of vertically going down into the bag. So this is just that final little bit. So what I'm actually gonna do here is rather than go back tack, I'm just gonna overlap my stitching by about three centimeters. And then that way you don't have to do a back tack so it hopefully prevents it from um, always going in alignment with each other. Because sometimes when you do back tacks, they do tend to slightly go off. There we are, final main seam done. And then what we're gonna do with the next bit is start to turn the bag through the gap in the lining. So we're gonna put our hand inside the bag. So you're going through the gap in the lining, holding like the bottom um, sort of corner, I guess, of the leather. And you're just gonna to start to pull the whole bag through this lovely hole that you've got. Woohoo, it's a bag. Now's a really good chance to kind of like check everything. So if you need to get back in with your uh, stitching at all, it's always good at this stage while the bottom hole is all open still. But I say I am very happy with that. We're gonna be applying glue onto the black fusing. And also what I quite like doing is putting it all the way along that seam allowance as well. So. Um, the seam allowance that I'm referring to is where the two bits of leather join, not at all up where the lining is. And then what I'm going to get you to do is basically fold that centimetre seam allowance up on itself. So what the idea is here that we're sort of sticking it all down, so it's sticking on the underneath here of the facing. And then where you've got all the glue that's under here, I just kind of do a bit at a time. So I'm now going to be pinching it together and sort of using my hands to kind of compress it all together. And then I'm gonna get back inside the bag and do the next bit. So it's always doing kind of a little bit at a time and really trying to make sure that that glue doesn't at all go onto your lovely lining on the outer of the lining. So what I'm almost looking for is that top edge of the outer leather just to be poking like, you know, a couple of mils out the top. I think that makes it look really smart. And obviously always gauging it as well from the right side because you've got some lovely tucks and stuff there in this bag. So I just want to make sure that everything visually looks really good from both sides. So this should really sit really nice and crisp all the way along that top edge. And you're going to work your way all the way around. So the last little bit of stitching, now that you've got your gorgeous bag all together, is to just finish off that um, hole where you've got in the lining. So what we're gonna be doing is top stitching it closed. So you wanna turn in the remaining one centimeter each side. So I'm kind of dipping it down inside the bag and then use the quilting clips just to hold the edge. And you're just gonna sew as close to the edge as possible all the way along. 
so that it closes off that hole. And I'd even say like just put your stitch lengths down maybe to like a stitch size two and a half to three so it just makes it really nice and discreet. So I'm literally going like one or two mils away from the edge, nice secure back tack beginning and end and just making sure that the two turned in layers are perfectly level with each other. Woohoo, that is your finished bag. Well, all the sewing done. We're now just gonna make some holes in the top edge so that you can feed through the um, lovely long crossbody handle. But that is your bag almost done.